good morning all of this uh, the live sorted now uh, welcome to all the teachers headmasters uh, dios mandal education officers and all the states officials who are watching this uh, live uh, webinar series uh, you all know that uh, this is because of the efforts of uh, the english special officer elit uh, selvi ma'am uh, the clap the clap webinar series, series was received very well, very well by the teacher community and there is an increasing demand for spoken english program by all the teachers and in continuation of the clap program five week spoken english program as a part of clap to is here arranged for the teaching community through a live webinar series from 22nd may to 30th june so we all welcome to this program now i can clearly say that with the feedback and all the Uh, you know uh, you know uh, demand from uh, all of us uh, uh, made uh, our uh, special ma'am ma would design, design such a great uh, program, program and, and so that's uh, why uh, we, we are going to witness so now, so I, now request, i request uh, 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 my, my teammate uh, 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 um smile, smile to introduce our, our uh, uh, resource, resource person. person today please, please smile. smile thank you very much sir uh, good morning all of you welcome to uh, spoken english series of cert uh, now we, with us uh, uh, today's resource person is dr kn shobha garu known for uh, uh, language training she is from assistant professor in anna university from uh, from chennai i heartily welcome uh, madam she is a uh, expert in teacher training as well as curriculum aspects and uh, having uh, research interest in language development and uh, training so Uh, we are very much uh, happy to have shobha madam garu welcome shobha madam please uh, give your presentation thank you so much i am using me and open uh, up this platform of learning again to teachers of andhra pradesh so good morning andhra pradesh good morning teachers of andhra pradesh i am really overwhelmed by the kind of motivation and enthusiasm that you have shown throughout this period of uh, lockdown the kind of learning that is happening the government of andhra pradesh has really given itself up to manage this not only at you know administrative levels but also at the pedagogical level the teachers of andhra pradesh have continuously learning developing their various skills even before we could finish and wrap up one program there is again the need for another program that we will have to design and deliver we are all very curious and we are you know the amount of uh, energy and enthusiasm that uh, you guys have shown towards us first of all uh, thank you for receiving well the previous set of programs and uh, based on your demands course has been uh, designed so before uh, you know starting the program let me thank all of uh, you know uh, officials at sert andhra pradesh i thank the director i thank the special officer vetri sali madam the commissioner of education school education and all the other officials who have been very instrumental in bringing this program to the teachers of andhra pradesh this is called spoken english for teachers program it's an exclusive program designed for the teachers of especially in the primary school high school level so uh, let me share my screen now so i think every time though we become you know experienced being and becoming an online teacher is uh, you know quite a challenge and we learn every time um so let us move into the session now this session as i told you earlier it is based on the demand that has been uh, created for uh, andhra pradesh teachers and uh, let us try and look into the session zoom it again Yes, yes, somebody connected. Can uh, you just mute them? Yes. Because uh, I don't know these names. Yes, yes, yes. Password. So, yes. Uh, since you have displayed, you no. Know. Okay. I think now we are good to go. Yeah. Okay. So. let us start with this premise now english is now a global language that belongs to all those who speak it so most of us living in india as we saw in the previous sessions also are either bilingual or multilingual most of the times we are able to speak 
two or three languages or more than that so in order if you go and say someone now say for example if i tell somebody i know telugu what is the first thing you will tell me you will ask me to speak a few sentences so speaking is one of the important aspects in any language and english is no exception that is why they now say english is a global language that belongs to all those who speak it only if you speak a language fluently we can try and claim mastery over it so english is no longer a western language or an outside language but it is part of the indian system it is very much part of the indian academic system and that is why there is a need to learn the language especially the spoken aspects of it okay let us look at the plan for the day i already told you it is an introductory session so the plan is going to be we are going to try and understand why spoken english for teachers so it can be a very general spoken english program or it can be a teacher education program but we have made these two selections very carefully it is a spoken english program that is designed especially for the teachers of andhra pradesh who are now undergoing a very important transformation in their professional lives we will also look at the objectives of the five week course it has already been told you that it is going to be a five week course of 25 sessions we are going to see what are the objectives of the session and then i have seen all the comments that you have given on the youtube even before this session has started since last night once the poster went online you have been discussing there are so many expectations that have come up there are also really hot arguments that are going on grammar is more important than spoken english there is no need for spoken english so several kinds of ideas are being discussed however i will try and give you a very clear idea of what to expect and then i will also walk you through the principles of learning spoken english so when you are trying to learn spoken english what are some of the aspects that you will have to keep in mind is learning spoken english similar to other methods of learning or other languages or what are the requirements that is expected of you if you want to master spoken english so these are some of the aspects that we will be discussing in that particular section and then there are various perceptions and challenges regarding spoken english when i say perception i mean our own understanding my perception of a particular thing will be very different from yours we are going to think about spoken english all of us have different understandings all of us have different assumptions some of us think it is very difficult some of us think no it's very easy so what are the perceptions that we have in our mind before we embark on any journey we have to clarify our mindset we have to understand what is most necessary for this particular journey so we are also going to discuss certain perceptions and of course the challenges as i told you before you go on a journey it is always best to expect what kind of problems you may get but we are not going to just tell you the problems we are also here to put together the solutions for you so that this journey of learning spoken english is going to be very easy we have a very strong team of experts who have come from different parts of india who have studied the context of andhra pradesh who know what teacher education actually means and the importance of spoken english we have a bigger team now more experts so you are really going to have a fun time all this 25 uh, sessions of spoken english of course the last session is going to be question and answer session moving on first of all why spoken english now i want you to type your answer in the chat box so in order to make it more interactive and also to see whether we are following 
typing in the chat box listening to my questions is very important so what do you think now some teachers feel spoken english is very important for them some teachers may not feel the same way so i'm going to give you some time and let me see why did you ask for this spoken english course i want to see some answers now ins you can think just type one word or two why the spoken english course is very important for you because before we start anything we have to think about its importance so let me just check the answers that you have typed communication so that is the top answer that is coming up it is e easier to communicate so spoken english is required for communication it is a global language to speak fluently it is the link language to speak very fluently to overcome the barriers okay so i can see to teach very good so to teach our children Communi uh, communication seems to be the top answer okay now it is exactly right first of all if you want to this not only within your state even outside if you want to go to a conference somewhere and if you want to present your ideas spoken english is absolutely important so communication is the top answer that i have received and also to teach our students exactly that's exactly why we are all on this program together in order to teach our students better spoken skills because they are going to have books written in english that's why exactly why we have come together and we are going to focus more on the spoken skills so some of the answers that i have is we did one kind of needs analysis before we started the course there was a questionnaire that was floated among uh, all the teachers of andhra pradesh the school teachers of andhra pradesh so the results very clearly showed us that spoken english is in demand now the results also showed various aspects of how you learn the spoken language and the results also showed us the reasons why you wanted to speak english in your group so we were discussing how this needs analysis that we conducted showed us several patterns of your uh, learning characteristics of several reasons that uh, you wanted to improve your spoken skills and based on the needs analysis this program the topics have been designed so the second answer would be spoken skill as a means of cpd what is the cpd i think after the clep 1 phase and the clep 2 phase most of us know the expansion of cpd so cpd refers to continuing professional development so usually given in a school or a college there will be one or two people who are extremely interested in continuing professional development and they they will be focusing on learning several new things in order to become a better person but now the entire teacher population of andhra pradesh has been under the cpd and spoken skills are a very important aspect sometimes we have better ideas to express when we meet our higher officials when we want to say something it is always better to speak in a very articulative manner so that our ideas get represented that is why spoken skills are extremely important based on demand just as pokri sir uh, srinivas sir and ismail sir also pointed out this particular course is based on demand this was not a course that was designed because your higher officials wanted to give it to you this course follows a bottom up approach in the sense that it was designed from the teachers perspective the teachers wanted this particular course and we uh, learned all the analytics from the needs analysis that we did and now this course is good to go okay now who are the target audience um, i feel that 
it is very important now to speak about the target audience among the teachers of andhra pradesh we have met several teachers who have excellent spoken english skills so this course is not to undermine the talents of those teachers this is definitely for those teachers who have expressed the need for the spoken english course so we are hoping that the other teacher also use some of these practices in their other trainings of teachers at a later stage or they can use it in their own classrooms so some teachers have also expressed that learning grammar is more important than spoken english learning how to write is also important of course every skill has equal weightage but then this course aims at the target audience of those teachers who want to improve their spoken skills so now i think the background is set very clearly we have seen why the spoken english course has to has come about now let us look at some facts about speaking in english so as you already know english has official or special status in many countries and it is also spoken by over 2 billion people it is also spoken as the first language in many countries and also as the second language by many people so this is the most common language that you will find out of your state or your country and then a quarter of the world's population speak english with some level of competence and this number is definitely going to increase in the coming years of course as you know very well internet users they also communicate in english as a vast majority so these are certain facts i thought we should know before we step into understanding the spoken english component now we all know that spoken english is very important to teach that is one answer that you have given me a lot especially in the youtube chat box when we try and use it in our classrooms the children who are going to listen to it right from day one when they enter we are not going to speak only in english of course we are also going to use a bilingual and a multilingual approach in the classroom suiting the needs of our children please remember and imitators so let us give them something great to imitate by imitating i just don't mean parroting whatever we say but then like i mentioned in my previous sessions also modeling is one of the best way of teaching when you speak short and simple sentences children are going to imitate that i don't have to tell you how good children are in imitating our mannerisms in imitating whatever we say with the exact tone our own children are very good at that so when we are able to create these spoken english platforms small opportunities for them to learn and imitate the program will be a huge success so this particular course has a two fold objective which is the first one is to improve the spoken english of the teachers themselves and also to help teachers in their classroom transactions especially in the english language now i would like to walk you through the objectives of the five week course so the participants will be able to by the end of the course demonstrate an understanding of the elements of spoken english so what is this spoken english is it different from written english what are the components that are important in spoken english is pronunciation alone enough is vocabulary important so there are several questions several elements that are related to the spoken english component we hope that we will give you a very wide range of ideas that are related to spoken english which are absolutely important for your own development so this is one of the main objective to understand the elements of spoken english and then identify strategies that work best for them now some of us have heard people telling us if we go and ask them can you please tell me some method to improve my spoken english some of them will say you watch lot of english movies watching english movies can help us a lot some of them will say uh, i think you should read more so if you are going to read more your spoken english will improve so there are several strategies to do it 
there is no one right method but we have to choose what works best for us so we are going to present to you a plethora of ideas several strategies that you can choose from and use that strategy in improving your own spoken english so we are we, we will be also discussing various activities and strategies which you can use and then you can use certain resources effectively through practice of course we would have already provided you the reading material for every session so as you receive the reading material for every session we expect that you practice so most often after all the are made available after the technical knowledge is offered to you know all the participants the best results will come only when the materials are put effectively to use if the resources are not used then the expected outcomes may not be achieved so this course expects the participants to use all the resources very effectively through practice and then they will also be able to gain confidence to speak better and correct english in classroom transactions as you can see all the sessions are designed to help you speak better and correct english in your academic surroundings inside your school with your learners so we have seen the objectives of the session so what to expect what are we going to expect in this course we have designed a range of topics covering say for example spoken discourse now what is this discourse discourse refers to a particular way of speaking or for a particular method of speaking that is adopted now you will not this you will not speak in the same way to your children as you speak speak with your superiors lawyers have a different kind of discourse a spiritual discourse is very different when you go to a temple or a church or a mosque so nowadays if you see focusing on the discourse is very important what kind of discourse do we use i use a different discourse when i am speaking with you when i speak with my research scholars or when i speak with my colleagues back at the university the discourse i adopt would be very different so we are going to try and address some of these elements you should also remember that your target audience would be teachers around you and your own learners so the discourse that we will be using here will be related to that of course listening skills for me listening skills top the list because if you want to speak well you have to have very good listening skills by listening skills i do not mean just hearing to whatever's coming from your mobile phones or from your systems by listening skills i mean keenly absorbing whatever is being presented to you and repeating it. sometimes certain words or certain pronunciation it is always better to repeat when you are alone or when you are with your family and producing it that way so listening skills are very important not only the sounds when it comes to the choice of words when it comes to the structure of sentences when you are listening very keenly you will be able to inculcate them in your vocabulary again going back to my one of my previous sessions where i said a good teacher hears but a great teacher listens i'm hoping that we have all become great teachers after our uh, you know the training that we had so now i am hoping that we will be listening very keenly to the kind of phrases to the kind of sentences that are being used in this webinar and because this is available to you at any time you can watch it any number of times unlike face to face training technology has enabled and powered us so that we will watch these videos again and again and use the phrases over and over of course language functions most of the research studies that have been done regarding language acquisition regarding spoken skills or any skills for that matter lays more emphasis on language functions back at the university we have professors who have already who have all you know every time they tell us language functions are the way that will help our students our teachers to 
acquire language that can be used in real time we are not going to uh, learn languages that are you know used uh, in a very imaginative kind of a situation we need to acquire language that is absolutely real time so language functions will be used yes phonetics phonetics is very important if you have to know the difference between a and a a and e i think most of us had the you know opportunity to watch this movie my fair lady you know uh, so in that particular movie you would have seen how professor higgins trains eliza a flower girl in case you haven't seen the movie i strongly recommend that you watch it i think most of our uh, teachers have already seen it in andhra pradesh so phonetics the sounds of the language you know producing intelligibly so that the other person is not confused okay what is this person saying so we are also going to focus on phonetics we have an excellent resource person uh, for teaching phonetics to or for refreshing your skills in phonetics and then certain activities for speaking so sometimes the same activities that we used to learn english to learn spoken english we can also use for our own students now how we are going to try and examine how we can achieve this balance so activities for speaking again is going to be handled by a very eminent professor the crux of this program or the core element of this program focuses on classroom transactions so whatever we do you know whatever skills that we are going to acquire we are going to try and focus it on classroom transactions so when we say classroom transactions we are going to take certain excerpts from the textbooks and we are going to try and see how this can be effectively transacted you have already seen professor monishita professor purnima suman sir you know doing these classroom transactions so we are going to give you enough models enough types and modes of transactions so that you can choose whatever works best for you so now you can see how we have spread before you a buffet of topics so you have spoken discourse you have listening skills you have language functions phonetics what are the activities that we can do to improve our own spoken skills and also classroom transactions we would be very happy to have some feedback in case you want to include some other topics we will always try and take your feedback and feed it forward into the sessions that are going to come moving on now there are certain principles of learning spoken english so when we were designing this program all of us brainstormed and we thought what are the certain principles that we will have to follow when we are trying to learn spoken english as all of you know well each one of us follows a different method some of us you know having learned in different mediums of instructions at school level at college level we would have acquired it in a very short period of time for some of us it will be very challenging so we are going to run through certain common principles understanding these principles will help you in acquiring the spoken skills in a much effective manner let us see so like i told you this particular spoken english program is going to focus more on language functions how is the language basically used what are these language functions there are full sessions that will focus on this so if you are going to introduce somebody or if you are going to apologize ask for directions give instructions these are all language functions these are real time functions that we use in our everyday life even with our students in the classroom so we are going to focus more on language functions and then focus on conversational english this is not going to be a spoken english course where you will be taught skills to you know teach in a um, very it's in a different context the context is purely your own classrooms focusing on primary children and the other students develop accuracy and encourage fluency accuracy and fluency are unmistakably and unquestionably the two sides of the coin of spoken english <coughs> if you are accurate and if you are not fluent or vice versa 
we can never say that we have acquired good spoken skills so everybody is a little anxious when it comes to speaking in english because we think we should not make any mistakes most of us commit mistakes when we speak even as a resource persons or as teachers because this is not our mother tongue and we don't have to be so conscious there has to be a certain accepted level of accuracy and fluency if you try to focus more on accuracy there will be a problem with the fluency and if you try to focus more on the fluency sometimes accuracy or the grammatical structure would be at stake so there is a need to balance to address and to address the teacher anxieties of making mistakes do not worry if you are making mistakes i always think that if you are making a mistake you are making an effort to learn moving on you have to emphasize on contextualizing spoken english in practice yes this is the key word of this entire uh, course of spoken english practice has to happen now we can only give you all the materials and do enough modeling for you through these webinars but obviously the practice has to come from your side you are expected to practice you know at least every day for the next one month so that uh, at the end of one month you are able to use all the words that we have used in those sessions you know use the small structures and phrases if you had looked at the reading material there are so many samples of utterances so try and keep practicing these utterances over and over again till you internalize them internalization is very important only when you assimilate you will be able to deliver and also speak loudly whenever you are practicing you know if you are going to read and just memorize it that is not going to work the more you practice those utterances loudly you will be in a better position to enhance your spoken skills also there is going to be a balance between language and pedagogical knowledge as teachers pedagogy is our strength we are expected to know how teaching and learning takes place so there is going to be a balance between the both we are not going to try and focus more on discourse linguistics we are going to do a very applied area of all these functions so we are trying to balance spoken english with the subject verb or, you know we should object we should try and follow these patterns but sometimes there are different methods to learn there has to be a balance this is exactly why we have written there is going to be a balance between language and pedagogical knowledge and then implicit teaching of grammar so the moment we say spoken english course most of you would have assumed so there is going to be grammar teaching we will start with parts of the speech we will go through indirect and direct sentences active and passive voice all the tenses there is good of grammar teaching but implicitly without using these terms without using grammatical terms we are going to try and see how grammar can be taught implicitly that is indirectly also build meta linguistic knowledge through observing vocabulary and noticing what do i mean by meta linguistic knowledge it sure sounds like a very big word but it is not as difficult as it looks meta linguistic knowledge means knowing more about the language itself you know how this language came why is the structure like this so some amount of language knowledge also has to be built but we are not going to give you big lecture big books to read about it or research articles you are going to try and learn all this through observation through discovery and listening and the focus is definitely going in your communicative competence as you said communication of reason that all of us want to improve our spoken english so the focus is going to be on developing communicative competence we will also address several anxieties that teachers have several nervous different varieties of englishes so english is no longer the sacrosanct language that has come from the british but then today english has been assimilated in india and there are a variety of indian englishes you will agree with me there is a difference between the way we speak english the moment we cross borders right and also accept intelligible pronunciation 
we are not going to make you roll your tongues and produce an american r or an australian accent okay we are going to speak very intelligible plain pronunciation all this can be achieved by adequate practice so now let us move to perceptions and challenges what do i mean when i say perception and challenge these are the four latent factors latent meaning something that is not very evident something that is not seen motivation i expect all of you to be highly motivated in case you want to complete this course very successfully and also acquire spoken skills so motivation is absolutely important the next is attitude attitude in the sense whatever we learn you know we might forget soon or why should i learn this why should i teach my learners spoken skills i never uh, used spoken english all my life but then i am very comfortable today why should my students learn so these kinds of attitudes should be shed off we should not try and you know be a victim of these kind of attitudes or uh, thinking about oh people will make fun of me definitely when i speak okay so they will uh, uh, not try and make fun of you when they are also undergoing the same process it is very difficult okay uh, your attitude matters a lot when i started uh, learning japanese before a year you know speaking with my teacher used to be a challenge because there used to be japanese teachers and we definitely knew we will make lot of mistakes because japanese grammar script everything is very difficult but then the teachers would say it is more of an attitudinal problem if you people want to speak the language it will come only if you speak it will not come if you keep writing and memorizing and reading so attitudinal issues we have to overcome all of us undergo the same problem so when i used to struggle with a grammatical sentence or with a spoken expression i used to empathize with my learner okay this is exactly the way my learner or my teacher will also feel when they are not able to find the right word and the right sentence and then self doubt and persistence persistence is very important if you are going to give up after watching one week and then you know okay i know all this i don't have to uh, watch this uh, or if you are going to say no this is for me you cannot give up right i know andhra teachers never give up we have seen the response for our previous uh, sessions so i think persistence is not a problem with the teachers of andhra pradesh so i want these kinds of attitudes i want an attitude where you are going to tell yourself i need to speak in english i want to i can do this and i will do this if these four words are going to be there for the next and month you will come out as very different persons okay so please keep this in mind don't think that practice will make you perfect perfect practice is important perfect practice in the sense you practice and then you check whether you have said it perfectly so practice doesn't make one perfect perfect practice makes one very perfect okay so um let us try and watch one video now i'm going to you know show you a video okay so yeah. i'm going to play the video yeah, now i'll play it yeah i'll play it twice hey are we on the same english course oh yeah how's it going Uh, not bad. Except I sometimes have trouble with my grammar, isn't it? I mean, sometimes I'm perfect, but other times I don't. Won't they? See, I'm all right with my grammar. My problem is spelling. I can't spell to save my loaf. Yeah. Yeah. After lying to spell chalk on my computer. Well, you know, look at it this way. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't eat it too. You know what I'm saying? Uh, no, not really. Uh, I think that she sometimes has trouble mixing metaphors, aren't she? Yeah. Sorry you guys, I'm always crying over spilled chickens before they're hatched. It's all right for you all. I've got a very small vocabulary. What's that like? It's all right for you all. I've got a very small vocabulary. <laughs> That's okay. I have problems with my emphasis. <laughs> Your emphasis? Yes, my emphasis on different parts of the sentences. Job that cause a lot of all What do you do? I'm a speech therapist. <laughs> a speech therapist that can't speak properly. Surprise your boss hasn't sucked you. 
It's all right for you all. I've got a very small vocabulary. Can I make a suggestion? Why do you put in dictionary? You'll save yourself a lot of embarrassment. <laughs> I tell you what, why doesn't we all try studying together, isn't it? How does it next week sound, didn't we? Great idea. Fabulous. Yeah, you give him an inch, it's worth two in the bush. <laughs> it's our ball. I've got Shut up, isn't it? Okay. So, I hope all of you watched that video. You can go back and watch it later, many times if you want. You also had subtitles. You saw a group of learners in the video. Did they all look very perfect? Each one had some problem, right? Now, say for example, this person in the black shirt, he has problems with grammar. He seems to speak very fluent. He has the self-confidence. But then he has problems with grammar. And this particular girl, she has the problem of mixing. What is mixing metaphors? I'm always crying over spilled milk, we say. Or counting chickens before they hatch. She is mixed. So sometimes we have to know phrases in a proper manner. So she has that particular problem. And look, look at he has problem with pronunciation. So when he wants to pronounce something, the stress of intonation is going, you know, uh, for a toss. It is uh, off the sentences and sometimes when he is pronouncing, you know how he said the word emphasis, sentences, okay, speech therapist. So there are several problems be there, several challenges that people might have. Now look at this girl. She has got a very small vocabulary, the limit of her vocabulary. She knows only that particular sentence. So, whenever we have these kinds of problems, we will have to address. And this fellow's problem is spelling. So, instead of sucked, he's saying sucked. So, sometimes what happens is he can be misunderstood. Now, let us just go back. So, we have problems here when it comes to this person. Grammar can be a challenge. So, some of us think only grammar is important. Some people think phrases, they should know full sentences. So knowing that, acquiring that is also important. And even if you know your grammar and if you know the right sentences, if you are not going to speak, pronounce correctly, if you are not going to know your phonetics, then it might become very difficult. So different parts of sentences, uh, emphasis, stress, intonation patterns, we need to know. Of course, vocabulary, our vocabulary, should be of a considerable size. We should know more words so that we don't keep repeating ourselves. So this girl was just repeating herself because she didn't know any other word. And then this guy had the problem with spelling, right? So these are all certain challenges which we might be facing. But we should understand that spoken skills is an integration of all these aspects. There is nothing, you know, that is one is high and the other is low. Oh, grammar is very important. Grammar should be kept at a very high stage. Uh, spelling has nothing to do with spoken. Not important. You know, these kind of perceptions will not help us in our journey. That's exactly why I showed you. Now, if I'm going to ask you, who speaks the best English in this group? Can you choose anyone? Not possible. Because everyone has certain flaws, right? And we will not be in a position to choose one person. So now you know that all of us will have certain challenges. And the spoken English course will try and address most of these challenges, but based on your practice. So looks like they are all in an English class together. Let us hope they also have good teachers and they will be able to overcome all these challenges by the end of their classes. We are also in a spoken English class like that. Let us also hope that we will be able to overcome all our challenges by the end of this course. So today's was only an introduction to discuss perceptions, to discuss the objectives, to discuss the topics. From tomorrow, we will start various topics. I strongly recommend that you keep a notebook, you note down certain ideas, you read all the material that is being given to you, and also internalize it, OK? so. Uh, thank you for uh, your uh, you know, patience and uh, listening to the presentation. So I hope we will live up to your expectations and offer you the best material that can be done. Yes, Ishmael, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much, madam.
book is sir yeah 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 um, just mute yeah so for so, uh, 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 closing this one uh, i would like to tell uh, regarding abhyasa app uh, uh, you know previously in abhyasa for many teachers wrote the exam and first list of uh, the teachers who wrote the exam on 22nd was released uh, there are so more teachers who also had written the exam that also will be released so don't be excited on that one and second one is that so today many school students are also watching into that and we have created 1.8 lakh, lakh for credentials almost all uh, certainly can log in into that if not we are floating a, a google form where you can uh, you know fill your treasury uh, id so that uh, we all will solve into that So we, so we are penetrating the technology into the teachers. teachers. Please, understand please understand this and, and operate. operate. Certainly, Certainly, we all uh, will get succeeded succeeded into this. So, so uh, 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 those who are uh, uh, you know uh, um, wrote the, the exam unable to get the name, get the name will also get the name, get the name in the list in the second list. So uh, I request uh, all uh, uh, try to log in and read the reading material which is available in the Abhyas app for this entire session and also do the assessment. Thank you very much. Is my please? Yes, sir. I have a question. Yeah, thank you very much, sir. Shubham, ma'am, uh, there is a question from Jay Kumar Bhimli. Yes, sir. Uh, what is the difference between spoken English and communicative English? what is the difference between spoken english yeah. and communicative english okay that's an excellent uh, question so i can see that you have started to think lot of thinking has started to happen uh, you know among the teachers of andhra pradesh now there aren't much of differences between spoken english and uh, communicative english now communicative english will focus more on the communicative aspect that is the intelligibility of the idea being transferred right but whereas spoken english will also have lots of aspects like stress intonation pronunciation all those ideas will be discussed now in communicative english it is a flexible term where you know certain ideas of um, certain level of errors is admissible like you know is also admissible you can try and express yourself where the focus is more on your communication whereas when it comes to spoken english when you are trying to learn spoken english the focus is more on acquiring all the elements of the spoken form of the language so i would say that in communicative english the priority is on meaning whether you are able to get it of the other person and in spoken english the focus is also on communication but then attending to various other aspects like stress pronunciation the phonetics and other aspects Um, and similarly uh, regarding this uh, abhyasa app um, um, there are uh, some issues like uh, first try uh, without zero of your treasury id if there is zero in the first place uh, and with zero also that's only trouble of the platform and it will be solved soon you can yes, try that yeah yes, madam yeah there was some technical glitch you the question was why the flow is different at different times sir Yes, sir. Ex yes, ma'am. Okay. Can you just repeat the question? Why is the flow? Yeah. Sometimes uh, the flow of uh, uh, language, spoken language, spoken English, is good uh, with the same person. Sometimes it is not that much good. What okay. uh, impacting this? Why? Which one is influencing this? Why this happened? Yes. Yes. I have an answer for that because all of us undergo that. see when we are with our students we are very confident and when we are with our friends we are very confident you know anxiety is not there in our head okay what if i make mistake you know that anxiety is not there so the flow is really good we are very fluent but then what happens when we speak to our superiors when we are very conscious trying to give a public speech making a presentation then the flow becomes a little difficult Now, say for example, there was a technical problem in the computer, and now I have to bring my train of thought back. This is exactly why there is, you know, the difference in the flow of language when people speak to others. So it depends on the kind of audience they have. If they are in a very normal classroom situation, the flow will be excellent. 
there are lots of affective factors like anxiety doubts which we showed you in the uh, presentation also so that can be one reason when we speak to our superiors guy for us to speak in a very natural manner that is why yeah thank you thank you very much madam uh another question is sri devi gaddam ma'am how can we work uh, we overcome grammatical mistakes in spoken english another question i uh, consulted that is grammar is uh, much essential for spoken english grammar is definitely essential but then we have to be focusing on accuracy and fluency we have to strike a balance so we cannot say that if you are memorizing a grammar book with all the rules you will be able to speak english fluently so you will have to focus on grammar also but practice practice speaking if you are not going to practice speaking it is going to be very difficult now how do we learn songs sometimes we don't understand the lyrics we don't understand the language but children will be able to memorize so sometimes what happens is we have to internalize the structure and also through constant practice we will be able to improve our spoken english so that would be my answer to sri devi garu so thank you very much madam uh, another question madam uh, suresh kurhuri how can we develop our spoken english being a passive listener in webinar very good question that's exactly why i don't let you you know be very passive i keep asking you questions i ask you to enter in the chat box even if we are going to a school or a college where they are teaching us spoken english we have to start speaking you know the language now within your family members there must be at least two or three persons you can start speaking or you can call you know each one of your friends and you can say okay today we learned these structures let us practice you can start a whatsapp group in which you can say only in this whatsapp group i will exclusively speak only in english because in whatsapp group we don't do very formal language you know we use very informal language so there will be somebody in the group who is able to correct you so if you are going to do this for one month you know we can also do it in a very um, systematic manner we can ask some of the teachers to form whatsapp groups within you know this month entirely they will chat only in english whether it is going to be correct or wrong lot of modeling will happen there when one person is typing one sentence when they learn it you know they will be able to use that so if you are going to adopt these methods this passive listening will not happen now uh, interestingly the next session that i will be doing uh, fresh garu we are going to see how we can act uh, yes sir definitely uh, bhagwan gasya uh, asking that we are facing uh, some problem about vocabulary and phrases is there any specific material for this about vocabulary so there are lots of sessions that have been planned for vocabulary for spoken english also so okay. i request all okay madam then uh, in the coming sessions we can uh, have uh, topics and uh, spoken in this uh, uh, phrases as well as uh, vocabulary so uh, madam can uh, bhagwan sir you can uh, follow and uh, tune to uh, our uh, webinar so that you can learn phrases as well as vocabulary too you can improve that uh, shobha ma'am thank you yes, so sir. much uh, very nice uh, uh, presentation and really spoken english it's the need of the day and all the teachers are very much uh, eagerly waiting for this and from yesterday itself i have seen so many uh, uh, discussions in the comment session where they are eagerly waiting for this session so we thank you for planning uh, good uh, uh, topics please bring all the very very useful and essential topics for our teachers so that uh, each and every teacher can develop their uh, language skills uh, and that helps our students also 
So thank you very much for the presentation, Prokuri sure. sir. Uh, so uh, yeah, ma'am. Thank you very much. And with this, we can uh, conclude today's session. We'll meet tomorrow thank you, sir. Uh, with a nice topic. Wind huh? up the session. Thank you. Yes. yes. Thank you, one and all. Sure, yes. Thank you, teacher. Yes. Yes. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Namaste.